Hey everyone, Lady K here. I'm in Hamilton for the 2018 Canadian Country Music Association Awards. If you love beer, and of course, country music, then you are going to adore my next guest. So pull up those cowboy boots, grab a pint of beer, and sit back for a Q&A with Lady K featuring Brad Saunders. Oh, oh, oh. Left the town in a cloud of smoke singing Summertime, what do you say? Forget about the play-by-play -play. We could go with the flow of a nice cold sip slow On a lazy day I love your new single, Play It By Beer, and so does Canada as it's getting tons of attention. What are you most proud of from the single? Yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me. Um, what am I most proud of? Um, well, I would say that, you know, it's one of the songs that I've written that is more meaningful to me. It's, it's fun and lighthearted, but it's, um, it's also has a bit of an understory about, you know, a young couple that decide to take off and go down the California coast, and it's kind of an adventure song, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the, the lyrics, and um, I think it's, uh, it's, it's been good. It's been, it's been good to me this far, so that's good. Where did you get the inspiration for this song? This was one of those times where we were just brainstorming ideas and decided that um, we wanted to write something that was a play on words kind of thing. So, um, yeah, that's where it came from. Well, it's an awesome play on words, and I think play it by beer has just become my new favorite fra yeah. phrase ever, so... <laughs> Forget play it by ear, it's gonna be play it by beer for now on. Give me something to hold on to. And I cool beer in a woman like you. Loving every minute, living in the moment. Moon coming up, we're just getting started. Now I understand you're working on your debut full length album. Uh, what can listeners expect from it? Again, for me as a songwriter, I just want to focus on the quality of the content. So we're really making sure that we have the right, you know, the right songs before we go go ahead with the record. I feel like there are songs that are really, you know, that that I really like, and I hope that they're well received to, to everybody else. Do you have a favorite song from from this this upcoming album? Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a few of them. I mean, "Play It By Beer" is certainly one of them. Um, I, I have a couple more meaningful songs that are going on the record, and. Um, I think that uh, I think it'll kind of show a different side of me as well. So I know you're really into giving back to the community. In 2016, you raised money for the Calgary Homeless Foundation, and in 2017, you conceived 21 Acts of Kindness, a campaign which raised over uh, $35,000. So, can you talk a little bit about the initiatives and charities you work with? Yeah, I think it's important to give back as an artist. You know, it's um, it's one of the reasons why I got into music in the first place. Um, so there's certain charities that I that are close to me, and uh, I feel like if there's an opportunity to give back, then I certainly love to be a part of it. Can you share a little bit about the story of how you did get into music? Yeah, well, music was a big part of my childhood, um, but I didn't learn to play music till much later. Uh, my whole family played music. Uh, growing up in Newfoundland, we did kitchen jams and things like that, and so music was always a part of me at, at a young age. But I didn't start playing guitar till I was probably 25 years old. What advice do you have for aspiring songwriters and singers out there? Just to stick with it and, and work on your craft, you know. I mean, to, to be successful at anything, you got to keep going and just put the hours in. Well, thank you so much, Brad. It was lovely to chat, um, chat with you. Congratulations again on Play It By Beer. Yeah, thank you. If you haven't listened to it, listen to it because it's awesome. And um, just for the record, what is your go-to beer? My go-to beer? Uh, Big Rock. I love Big Rock beer, yeah. All right. Well, I'm sorry we don't have some here right now. We could have toasted to, yeah. to your single, but next time. Next time. Yes, sure. next time. I'd like to give a big shout-out to Alley Cat PR for facilitating this interview and to the Hamilton Public Library for hosting us. Oh, hey! Have you hit the subscribe button yet? Because I'd hate for you to miss more videos like this one.